What we're going to be doing now is actually bringing in our global audience. Over the past few weeks, thousands of people around the world alerted to this debate, submitted their point of view by making an argument on the topic. We will use now artificial intelligence to help us understand what matters most to this global audience, what arguments and ideas that they thought were most important. And we did that by turning to IBM Watson, which uses AI to scale public opinion. Let's take a look at how that works. First, people around the world submit their arguments online. Then, the AI assesses the quality of the arguments, filtering out any irrelevant submissions, and sorting the remaining arguments into for and against. Next, the technology identifies the recurring key points, ranking them based on their quality and their frequency. Finally, the AI creates a coherent narrative of the strongest and most prevalent points for both sides of the debate. Okay, and now we get to hear it, a selection of the key points and arguments that our global audience, thousands of people around the world, thought were most important on this topic. So let's go to that. Hello. Ahead of this debate, more than 3,500 arguments were submitted on the motion it's time to redistribute the wealth. The following analysis used AI models to identify the critical key points made by each side. 56% were for redistributing wealth with 20% of submissions arguing that there is currently too much wealth inequality in the world. One argument was that income inequality has increased dramatically over the past few decades, causing excessive suffering to large populations, and that if wealth is not redistributed, far greater will suffer. Another key point for the motion was that redistribution of wealth will allow those with less opportunity to achieve success. People also think huge wealth gaps lead to social unrest and decreased security for all. The remaining 44% were against the motion, with 15% of submissions arguing that redistributing wealth would discourage some people from working hard. One argument in support of this is that redistributing the wealth discourages individual initiative, entrepreneurship, and accountability for choices. Please visit the website to see the full results. Good luck to the human debaters. All right, and as, as we continue with the human debaters, um, it was interesting to hear the global audience hitting on some of the same dividing lines, but there was one I, I want to zero in on that was brought up in that analysis that we haven't heard, whether there would be a behavioral impact on those whose uh, wealth would increase as a result of a, a dis redistribution, that it would discourage the desire to work. Um, let's take that to you, Yanis, um, that, that there would be a moral hazard to a redistribution of the wealth. What's your take on that? If, if anyone, you know, a singer, a film director, whatever, um, produces a service, a performance, and uh, the public out there are prepared to give millions in order to experience that, I'm quite happy for them to have it, as long as they pay their income tax and they are you know, legally um, uh, okay. But what happens once he has accumulated this money in a financial system, that breeds a lot more money at the expense of stagnation for the many out there who are not simply, as I said, left behind, but they are held behind by very low investment in good quality jobs, in high technology and so on. So this is why we need seriously to tackle concentration of power, corporate power, and of wealth. This is why we need to, to redistribute wealth in a big bang way like it happened under the two Roosevelts because it stifles innovation. It destroys the market incentives and signals to have so much wealth concentrated in such few hands.